एवरी वन दिस इज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ईशानी त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी आई एम गोइंग टू टेक सेशन रिगार्डिंग द सब्जेक्ट प्री कास्ट कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर्स और लेटर से जस्ट द टॉपिक्स रिगार्डिंग प्री कास्ट कॉन्क्रीट स्ट्रक्चर्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स इफ आई टेल यू दैट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय प्री कास्ट now let us try to understand first of all that we are dealing with what type of technology so in all in civil engineering in general construction the basic engineering or say basic construction material is concrete right now the concrete is a mixture of cement sand aggregate and water those are the basic ingredients now we are dealing with how we are going to cast this material right how we are going to mix up this material prepare this material and then cast the required structural elements onto the site so now we have two cases one either we can prepare all these things on the site and then transport it and then on site itself you can cast the cast away the fresh concrete material and you can continue the work right now the second thing which we have is precast technology now what is precast precast the name itself says it is pre it means from before from before it is already casted so what am i going to have is i am going to have the structural elements in the form of precast members meaning the mixture of concrete although all the preparation work all the batching work all the uh, casting work everything will be done on the manufacturing site on the precast site and the structural elements will be brought to the site in ready to use condition of all in cast in situ concrete we are uh, we are making all the processes on the site uh, including the curing work but all of these things will be done on the site and when the precast member precast concrete member will be brought on the site it will be in ready to use condition all the processes will be done let us say for a beam or a column or a slab or a wall whatever type of structural member you want to deal with and that will be directly fitted into the structure with the help of joints with fixtures and this is how you are going to construct your building or a structure uh the images which are flashing right over here from this we can try to understand that how fast construction work can be taken place with the help of precast elements now after precast elements uh comes the another word that is prefabrication i'm going to talk about two different things uh, in all in all these sessions one will be prefabricated structure and one will be precast structure so first of all let us try to understand exactly in the form of technical manner that what is precast construction okay so if i want a technical proper definition then how am i supposed to write down it means that the precast concrete is concrete which has been prepared for casting uh for it is cast already it means that the member is already made and cured in a location which is not its final destination now can you see the images flashing over here the background image these are the examples of precast concrete members we can see over here that precast concrete walls are present and the openings are provided can you see that yes we can see that so over here openings are provided and this shall make the window of the wall and this is how your precast elements are available they will be directly brought to the site and your work will be done it will be a faster construction as compared to cast in situ taking another one over here this is the example of a precast concrete bridge now we can see over here that how the precast concrete slab right the sections which we can see over here the trapezoidal sec sections which you can see will be directly fitted into this slab of a bridge with the help of joints and this is how the precast construction work is carried out over here another image is flashing once again we can see that this is a whole prefabricated small structure right so now you can try to understand that if we are talking about precast then we are talking about a precast structural element and if we are talking about prefabricated it means two or more members will be connected together and a small structure will be made in ready to use condition which you can see over here this is my prefabricated structure now currently in the world 
prefabricated construction is ongoing it has become a modern trend right now lots of examples are existing all over the world and even in our country where the prefabricated construction is giving is given much importance because of its ease of construction because of the speedy work because of the uh, say let us say less spaces available uh, there are lots of reasons because of which prefabricated and precast construction is ongoing right now it can be considered as the modern technology in the current world now let us try to understand uh, technically in depth that what is the basic difference between precast concrete and the other forms of construction apart from the uh, cast in situ apart from the uh, say prefabricated construction we are going to mainly focus on the precast concrete structures right because that is our main concern so now here we can see that we have two different images flashing one is the precast concrete and the another is the cast in situ concrete now i think i gave you a glimpse already in the starting regarding this we are just looking at it over it technically now so we have precast and cast in situ concrete are the product produced by casting concrete in a mold or a form work now you must understand that for casting any member for making any structural member be it in square shape or circular shape or any other asymmetrical shape you always need a form work so uh, let us try to understand certain points of difference between the two main types of construction uh, that is precast and cast in situ construction now we have certain parameters which i am flashing right over here uh, these parameters uh, are going to distinguish the two different types of construction so for us uh, we have to understand that uh, how uh, precast construction is different so the first factor which we have over here is the casting now i think you are already uh, familiar with this i discussed about this uh, in detail in this session that how it is casted or how it is made on the site and how the cast in situ construction is uh, done on the site itself right molds or form work that is the temporary structures will be available for both of them and that is how it differs in the casting procedure the second which we have is strength right now if we talk about strength then we will get more strength in the uh, say precast concrete construction because it will be designed for handling extra stresses as well you can also get the same amount of strength in the cast in situ construction as well next parameter which we have is quality control right so now quality control is a factor which has to be executed on the site so whenever you are uh, having a cast in situ construction then quality control point comes majorly right but in precast concrete uh, system or construction all the things will be done earlier superv supervised skills supervision uh, the mix design and all of those things will have past quality check already and uh, it will be directly in ready to use condition next four parameter or the factor which we have is cost now uh, cost wise precast concrete construction is going to be a costly affair why because you are going to add up the transportation and handling charges as well because such heavy and bulky uh, elements or structural elements when you want to transport you are going to require extra care you are going to require trucks and uh, transport wagons trailers etc so the handling and uh, uh, the transportation charges and also the uh, form work or the mold will be designed specially so all of these charges will be more as compared to cast in situ construction next we have is time now i think you are able to conclude on your own that which will be a speedier construction next which we have is requirement of worker and machinery now in precast concrete construction machinery will be required equipment will be required uh, cranes will be required specifically to lift the heavy uh, structural members and to fit them and same is the point that is cast in situ construction in that workers will be required more and uh, the equipment all the different types of equipment which are say let us say the basic ones that is excavator dozer tractor dumper uh, concrete mixer all of these equipment will be required on the site whereas in precast it will be less let us try to move forward now what else do we have uh, so i am technically writing over here certain points and uh, and i am also now going to throw some light that how this precast concrete structure behaves right so a precast concrete element is of finite size that is obvious thing uh, and must therefore be joined to other elements to form a complete structure 
then you are going to join two or more precast elements together then your full structure is going to be made so for example a simple bearing ledge or a corbel corbel means the one which you can see over here the projecting stone this is a corbel corbel is generally provided for supporting the beams for supporting the sills etc so this is my corbel over here so for example we are taking a simple bearing ledge or a corbel over here will suffice as shown so when what type of problems can be faced in this type of construction so when thermal shrinkage right due to temperature difference if any kind of shrinkage takes place internally in the concrete or load induced strains meaning when the load coming on this corbel on this supporting member uh, if it is going to introduce any kind of strain then it will cause volumetric changes and the two two precast elements will try to move away from each other that is flashed over here that how you can see the two precast members are trying to move away from each other so a force of f equal to mu r which is capable of splitting the both elements unless the section was suitably reinforced so the problem over here is if your precast section is not reinforced if it is not rcc if suitable reinforcement is not provided during the designing time then this much amount of force is enough to break apart or to move apart the structural elements right in other cases positive bending moments due to restraint of relative movement also occurs the end rotation can also cause the cracking in the soffit of the slab soffit means the internal width of the slab or beam to column corbel connection all these things can happen these problems can be faced if the precast member is not suitably reinforced or if it is not designed for shrinkage or load induced strains right so this is going to be a drawback there are even more drawbacks regarding the precast construction which we are going to discuss further but this is the main criteria for designing any kind of precast member next moving forward i am taking an example over here the building which you can see over here this is a real time application real time construction which you can see over here uh, this was let us say let me show it to you it is the scottish government building right the columns you can see over here is the precast or say prefabricated elements prefabricated columns were used over here this is a very old building uh this is a grid based architectural precast concrete it was manufactured 600 km away from the site from which site from the precast manufacturing site so it was traveled it was transported for almost 600 km whereas the precast concrete columns beams walls travel less than 60 meter meaning the precast manufacturing unit will be set up nearby so for handling and transporting the beam column and slab would be easier next the wall panels have been stack casting layers between the sheets of polythene adjacent to the final building meaning they have sandwiched uh, sheets of polythene in between uh, this was the kind of the architecture which was followed in this uh, type of building which was constructed this is a reference which you can study the references are available uh, this was the scottish uh, government building which was constructed which was a great example of the precast or prefabricated structure i am also flashing you another image over here so over uh, this is the same construction this is the slab which was constructed you can see the polythene sheets which we are talking about it will be uh, placed in between and over here you can see the elevation of the building uh, from the other side from the sides from the side views and this is how it was constructed next i am going to move forward uh, about the assembly of the structure right once we are done with what is precast uh, uh, prefabricated construction how it is made what problems are faced and now we are going to talk about the assembly of the structure once again over here the assemblage of precast elements when they are suitably connected together a three dimensional form work a framework is made capable of resisting the load so when you are assembling this different different types of precast element a three dimensional framework will be made which is right in front of you over here i have taken another example so where do you provide this type of construction 
you can provide in office in commercial buildings in institutional buildings retail offices malls etc you can construct all around the world in different type of structure right so over here we can see the image the, this was a, a construction made for as a shopping center and the, over here you can see is a car parking which you can uh, see that the columns the columns over here were precast the walls over here were precast i'm just giving an example that how a precast concrete structure looks like uh, so the precast concrete elements supporting vertical actions right the column beam floor slabs staircases and stair course were made precast the framework is braced against the horizontal actions now see the cursor point pointing over here these are the diagonal braces provided so all of the vertical elements were made precast and the braces were provided for better stability and for the horizontal forces that will be developed so uh, this can also be followed in tall buildings you can always provide braces in such type of buildings for horizontal actions that is the for lateral loads you can provide the support right and the columns were used were very deep columns meaning the depth was more uh, at the gable end that is at the roof end right for the better stability okay students so uh, i think uh, you will be able to Uh, have a clarity after this session uh, that what is precast construction how it is different from others how you can uh, practice it in real time uh, we saw two different cases of real time applications and how uh, the sequence works right first of all its preparation its casting then its transportation then its placing placing after that assembly assemblage of uh, these uh, elements and then making a final framework for a structure we will be discussing more topics in detail in the next session have a good day students thank you